guys welcome or welcome back to my channel tech essence so um this is the second lesson in the course of copywriting and as far as you people know that we had already discussed the very first uh, tool for copywriting that is headline analyzer so i thought that let me first clear you guys that when are you going to use the particular tool so as we talked about headline analyzer tool in the previous video make sure to watch that video i'll link it over here on the screen itself so you get a proper understanding of uh, how the tool is used so basically um when are you going to use this tool is uh, when you are given a job or when you have to provide a service just of providing the headline or supplying the headline or you can use it for creating ads or a poster maybe image ads or something like that so basically you can use it for providing headlines or headings of a blog and if you are told to write an ad where you have constraint of word count or you need the customer to be very specific on what they see and get insights from that particular line itself which you are writing so you can go for using this headline analyzer tool so i had to make this clear in the previous video itself but i couldn't make it clear so i thought of uh, first talking about when you, are you going to use headline analyzer tool and then moving on to the other tools that we shall discuss in this video so um so the next tool that we are going to discuss today in this video that is the second tool is the saurus application so this tool basically provides you another similar words to the word that you have entered so this word may be attractive word more cooler and unique word so let us write an example of a word so that i can give you a demo so let me write smart so it's going to give you um really going to give your sentence a partial tint and a style that you must have in your uh, in order to have to make your copy stand out from other copies in the market as well as to connect with audience strongly so i'll also make sure to link all of the links in the description box up for the applications that i am discussing right now so that you can directly click on the link and uh, go to that particular page and use it so now let us discuss when are you going to use this uh, the saurus app right so basically after you have created your headline using headline analyzer and while you are creating your headline you are stuck with some words and you need a particular synonym for that particular word then you are going to use the saurus tool okay so i'm going line by line discussing every tool so that uh, they are linked with each other so make sure to watch the whole video in series itself and don't skip any of the part okay so now coming on to the third we third uh, tool that we are going to use and that is the hemingway app this is the third tool in the list so what this app does is that it analyzes the text that you have to paste in the box like you uh, after if you are writing a blog right so you'll just write a blog and then paste it in the box that is provided over here and then it can include your blog or article or any um copy that you are writing so it shall give you the word count and it shall provide the whole analysis of the sentences in the blog whether the sentences are lengthy or complicated if the sentence is highlighted in red color then it is a complicated sentence the words that are in purple color can be replaced with the suggested list of words and the words in blue are weak phrases so you can even replace them with the stronger words the great part about this application is that this application provides you um reading time matrix so now you would think that why you need a reading time matrix so when you are um have like when you are going to convey a particular message in a given inter interval of time you are going to need this so this is an op there is also an option for a paid version of this tool which allows you to use the full application without you being connected to internet so this is useful when you um choose to switch off your net in between your work if you feel being distracted by using internet 
so this is useful when you are facing such a problem so you can go for the paid version of the application so now coming on to the part that when are you going to use this um, application so when you are once done with writing the whole blog or article that you have to uh, write or for yourself or maybe for your client then you shall use the Hemingway app and as I already discussed it shall provide you the stronger and the weaker sentences it shall highlight it in different colors which you can later on replace it so coming on to the fourth tool in the list which is Grammarly so as a good copywriter it's not just about um, writing a copy but it's also about producing a copy which is grammatically error free right so uh, for that you might be I, I i don't need to i don't think so that i need to provide any um, great detailed explanation about what grammarly is and so i think that you might already know it but in case you have any doubts you can let me uh, know in the comment section so coming on to the part that when are you going to use grammarly so after you're done writing the blog and uh, the heading with the headline analyzer tool and replacing the words in case you need it the, with the Saurus app and after even analyzing the whole blog with the Hemingway app now you are done with the blog also so now it's time to check the grammatical errors if your blog has so you can go for this uh, tool that is the Grammarly tool so now coming on to a completely different tool that is Pixabay tool so this is the fifth tool I guess in the list so this tool is useful when you want to um, use images for copywriting right so pixabay provides you a very high quality images and all of these images are free so it's one of the best place to find the images that can fit your niche also so you can use these images when you want to make a poster or an image ad or if you want to convey your message via image then you shall use um, like you shall need some background image which is suitable to your niche like so that you can write your copy on it and make it even more attractive so an uh, image speaks more than um, like it's something which attracts the customer more than just you writing the copy and the headline so you can even use it in your uh, blog if you want and uh, so this is a free source of image like a platform which provides you free images so you can basically use it initially if you are facing any problems okay so coming on to the uh, sixth tool in the list that is canva so after you are like as we saw that pixabay shall provide you with images if you want to make your own images then you can go for like Pixabay shall provide you the free images but in case you want to make your own images then you can go for Canva right with Canva you can customize logos posters infographics it also uh, it is also useful when you are creating ads and posts for social media so by creating designs or images using Canva you can just uh, basically strengthen your words so uh, now coming on to the part that when are you going to use this Canva and Pix Pixabay applications. So you are going to use these when um, you are going for uh, creating copies which require images. So I would suggest that images are really an attractive way to attract even more people and potential customers. So basically make sure that when you are going for some ads or something or if there is a poster and you want to convey ads on that or you want to convey some message via poster also and some different um, like you have this advantage when you are using image is that like you can uh, basically convey a message via uh, not just by the headline that you write but by also the poster image that is like by also the poster image so it is a like two-way message conveying way so you can go for that and the seventh tool in the list is the live keyword analysis your client might tell you that these are some of the keywords that he wants to include in his copywriting um whether it is heading or blog or something service whatever you are providing he needs some keyword so in case he even doesn't mention about the keywords and if you um, get to know more about the business definitely you'll know because 
he will tell you guys about uh, the description of the business that he wants um, copywriting to be done for so um, you can definitely go for searching keywords and providing him the service also that you have included the keywords in his blog or the headline so he'll be really happy and uh, he may like uh, pay you more for that so this tool uh, that is live keyword analysis shall help you with the perfect balance of keywords so it shall tell you if you have access and frequent or rare like whether you have access or frequent or rare uh, keywords within your heading. So this is a basic uh, tool which provides you the quantity of keywords that you have used. Um, it should be a perfect balance. It shouldn't be so much access or it shouldn't be so much of uh, low keywords. Then coming on to the Dupli Checker tool, that is the final tool in the list. So it is going to help you when you are going to write the blog so by the name itself you might have got the clue what this exactly this tool is exactly about so this tool is going to provide you whether you your content is plagiarized or whether it is duplicate to some other source or something like that so you can definitely um, like after you are done with the keywords analysis and the heading as well as the blog and the grammarly check as well as replacing some of the words with the synonym using the Saurus uh, application. So finally, you can go for Dupli Checker. That is the final step in the copy, uh, copywriting before you are supplying it to the potential client. So this is the way in which uh, you will make sure that it is not plagiarized or duplicate of any other sources so this way it would be something really great and you must definitely go for a dupli checker before providing it to your client so that was it for today's video i hope it was useful for you and all the tools uh, let us just summarize um, what we have discussed in the whole video and uh, let me just uh, do it in two minutes so in the first video of this uh, series of copywriting we discussed about the headline analyzer tool and uh, so this is the previous video to this video. This is the third lesson in the copywriting course. So we talked about headline analyzer tool. So when are we gonna use headline analyzer tool is basically when we are writing a headline. So if uh, you have to just provide the service of headline, then you are gonna use the headline analyzer tool. And when you are done with writing the headline and if you are stuck on um, writing synonym for some words, uh, I mean like you are confused on what to write and if you need any strong word to be replaced with the current word then you are going to use the Saurus application and after you are done with that you are going to use the Hemingway app if uh, you are also pro you also have to give a service of writing a blog or an article so for that you are going to use Hemingway app which shall give you an analysis of uh, which words are strong and which sentences are weak and much more and uh, in case after you are done with uh, the Hemingway app, you will use Grammarly for correcting the grammatical errors. And in case you are uh, going for um, like image ads, then you are going to use Pixabay and Canva for getting the free image sources as well as creating your own in case of Canva. And finally, if uh, like finally you are, uh, this is a plus point if you also write keywords in your headline so for that you are going to use the live keyword analysis tool and finally uh, wrapping up the all things you are going to use the dupli checker tool for checking the duplicate or plagiarism sources so thank you guys for watching the video i hope it was useful for you and make sure to hit the like button if this was useful for you and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed so that it motivates me a lot to make even more useful videos for you people. Thank you guys and bye till the next video.